Hello, it's June 21st, 2013. Let's turn to the Bible. We're going to start off reading. <clears throat> reading from a letter of St. Paul's. Right there. Reading from the second book of Samuel. 2 Samuel 12 7 through 10 through and 13, 93c. And it starts off, Nathan said to David, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, I anointed you, King of Israel, I rescued you from the hand of Saul. I rescued you from, gave you your Lord's house and your Lord's wife for your own. I gave you the house of Israel. I said of Judah, and if there was not enough, I could count upon you, for you still are why have you spurned, spurned, the Lord and done evil in his sight. You are cut down from your and the hillock. With the sword you took his wife as your own, and him you killed with the sword of the Ammonites. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from your house, because you have despised me in taking the, the wife of your to be your wife. But David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan answered, David, the Lord on his part has forgiven your sin. You shall not die. And reading to the second verse, carrying on, I'm going to turn to reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, we know, we who know, that a person is not justified by works of law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ, that we may be justified by faith in Christ, and not by works of the law, because by works of the law, no one will be justified, for through the law I died to the law, that I might live for God. I have been with Christ, yet I live, no Christ lives in me. Insufficient live in flesh, I live by Son of God who has love, giving himself up for me. No only the grace of God, justification comes through. Then Christ died for nothing. In other words, that Christ is there for you, whether you believe him or not. As I said this before many times, for months right there in your heart. Keep praying. Miracles do happen every day. Speaking of miracles, a church patron member of ours was recently diagnosed with lung cancer, third stage. Uh, Y'all pray for her. Her name is Rita. Miracles happen, so keep praying. I know God will grant her one. That she loves. God bless you all. While working at, while seeing Cryer for Father's Day, I had an amazing Father's Day. Inspiring, inspiring people is what I enjoy most other than working at the Arts and Crafts Center. And, most important, taking up sports, playing tennis. You can never go wrong with tennis. Especially uh, when you're playing tennis, darts, pool, skydiving, learning new things, new hobbies. After all, Jesus was a carpenter's son, as I mentioned in the last video. Helps to learn a new hobby in woodshop class or painting. Even with kids, you always meet new people. It's a great place to go to for a new hobby. Other than what's available on base, you know, sports clubs, all kinds of activities. You can even go to the gym. It's great if you're military. Take your frustration out there instead of at home. You'll live longer. It's so healthier. Carrying on. Let's go and turn to the USO. On Patrol Magazine. You can always support the USO at USO. Go to their main website. And it's supportuso.org. As you can see here. Help a needy soldier in need. You help countless millions all over the world. Stay in touch with our family. So, I turn to program helps Navy dads reach kids. A new program that keeps deployed troops in touch with their kids at home. I'm a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? It's not what you expect to hear from a public affairs officer. But this isn't a normal briefing. Despite communication advancements, even officers who communicate for a living, like Navy Lieutenant Junior Grade Matthew Stroop can struggle to find a personal touch 
during deployment that his two young boys will understand while giving them a story to read. The USO and the other through reading are working together to change that. It's tough for little people to stay engaged for too long on the phone. Mr. Rope in a recent email from Afghanistan. United Through Reading's military program available to troops around the world via the USLR directly through United Through Reading provide deployed troops the opportunity to make a DVD of themselves reading on each appropriate book to their kids back home. When they're done, United Through Reading sends the DVD and often a copy of the book to the family. I enjoy knowing that my kids will be able to connect with me whenever they like. Reading while I'm away by asking to have a DVD named on at home or in the car, strip rock. And strip right there, reading to his kids. While deployed in Afghanistan. By DVD. Some social do it so squared away, they do it by computer when they only have time just to look at their kids in the face. God bless you. God bless those serving and those who are returning. May y'all return home safely. Being squared away, so I can keep you in my prayers. As much as I keep my son in my prayers. All this day went really well. I've been playing pool and dark. Sent a club. Speaking of that, 4th of July, Mark Kellers, those who living here, residing here, or visiting. At O'Connor's, there's going to be a big 4th of July party. You should check it out. You simply drive there. It's 20 minutes from the base. Uh, you get, don't get on the interstate, you get off the interstate, exit 1 from 24 east. If you're coming from downtown Nashville, you want 24 west, exit 1. It's right on your right hand side. You can't miss it. Because I'm the one who's going to be blasting squat, blasting away at the fireworks. I don't know many sergeants who can blast TNT, strip it down with a steak knife, and drink coffee at the same time. Do you? Square away. What a rush. And still not get blown up. Keep in mind, fireworks anywhere in the U.S. around the world is not child's play. Don't do something foolish and end up losing something you might wish you didn't have to lose, like a hand or something else. So keep that in mind. Be safe for Fourth of July. Don't do something stupid. You'll regret. Be good away. That's meant for adults. Is meant for adults, not for kids. Always have a friend if you don't know what you're doing, or ask somebody before you light the firework. Most people, adults-wise, will tell you that. You don't want to lose something you might wish you still had on. Alright. Having said that, let's carry on to the 238th and counting birthday of the Army. I went to a nice birthday the zone there that week I told you guys about in the last video. Yeah, who's the Secretary of Defense? Anybody know? God help you if you're standing in formation and you don't know the CO who's standing in front of you because you're too busy staring at his or her face instead of their name tag. Oh, by I'll get back to you, sir, man. I hope that's what you say while forming at the mouth. God help you if that's a drill sergeant staring at you in the face. I hope to God there's something comes out of your mouth of an oh. Don't say I didn't help you in anyway. I'm sure they'll get a kick out of that one. Fall by I wish he was daddy here instead of me looking at you all of you. What better way to have emotional support? Don't say I didn't help you now. Police dog. I know there's some saying, square these people away. 12 hours, please. One vacation, one whole day. God, one night. I'll be right back. And then, just one problem with that. They don't know, they don't know my number. I'm sure. Dealing with all you for squared away, sir. And then they tell you to your face, and wait till you get to my rank. Then you'll understand where I'm coming from. You thought I was being mean. Often as dad would tell me, now it's your turn. Now you have a kid. Enjoy. I'm on vacation. Great dad. Rebel with a cause. And myself. Speaking of Father's Day, um, yeah, most of you ladies are wondering for a bachelor at best. Did I even get a phone call, an email? 
But you know what? What goes around comes around. That's why I say be kind to others as they are to you. My son will be in my care soon, and the rest I leave to God. Or squared away dad. I love my son, and I pray real hard for him being apart from him. That he'll be returning to my hands shortly. Knowing I do what's best for him, like every other dad. My dad, a foreign officer, did for me. I am a. Let's give to all you kids out there who don't have dads. I can imagine what that's like, but at least here, watching this, it provides you a sense of comfort, a sense of belonging. That you're not so alone in the world as you thought while studying your studying, your school, taking on your dreams. The only person stopping you is yourself. Face your fears, your doubt. Let go of anything else. Don't carry it with you. Anything negative, let it go. After all, education gets you far in life, not ignorant. Trust me, squared away saw it and knows so many things from experience. Read right on. Secretary of the Army Jean Miku and Sergeant Major of the Army Raymond Chandler later read that General George Washington of our time, a historic president, tomb during the resting place during the 238th Army birthday wreath laying in Purple Heart ceremony at George Washington's Mount Vernon Estate in Alexandria, Virginia. Money. See, that's a nice quote right there. For you people who need a emotional support. Now, ain't that a phone I Right there. Photo. Bring it on by Yvette Smith. When the American Revolution broke out, the colonies did not have an army in the contemporary sense. Rather, the revolutionists filled an expert force of colonies groups formed together from various New England militia companies. They had no formal chain of command. A lot of many people know that didn't know that. Most people would go just go out there and start fighting. Filled an expert force of colonial groups formed together from various New England militia companies. They had no formal chain of command, and although Amer Artemis Ward of Massachusetts exercised authority by casual agreement, officers from other colonies were not obligated to follow orders. The American volunteers were led, equipped, armed, funded for, and supported by the colonies from which they came from, according to the U.S. Army Center of Military History, during the year 1775. 238 years ago, on June 14, 1775, a small band of patriots joined together to set up emotional events that would transform the nation and at time their ideals were considered to be nothing less than revolutionaries, said Brigadier General Mark R. Stammer, acting commander of the 101st Airborne Division and uh, Fort Campbell. That band of brothers set up that's on the path to demonstrate government and the sense of freedom that is still a beacon around the world as this makeshift army prepared to confront British troops near Boston. In Massachusetts, the revolution quickly scrambled to reorganize their forces, realizing a change that was necessary in order to stand against Britain's more seasoned troops, according to the U.S. Army Center of Military History, recognizing the need to enlist the support of all American seaboard colonies. The Massachusetts Provincial Congress appealed to the Second Continental Congress of Philadelphia to assume authority for the New England Army. While there is no written record, as the Congress voted to adopt the Boston troops on June 14th at John Adams' request, George Washington received his appointment as Commander in Chief of the Continental Army the next day at the Wembley to command at Boston, July 3rd, 1775. Having said that, I hope you all have a great week. Knowing that, you know, how hard sometimes things can be. Remember, you gotta watch your health, otherwise what good are you? You know, take it, intake that fruit, keep eating fruit, vegetables, don't slack off on either one. Watch your health, after all, you are what you eat, and it's so true. You know, stay fit, stay healthy, take part in a new hobby, like I, sports, tennis, pool playing, darts. There's all kinds of stuff out there, camping I've done. You name it. Check out your local listings, what activities are what, and don't forget the 4th of July for those of you residing here. Party at O'Connor's right there on 24 East 
exit 1. If you're coming from Nashville, it'd be 24 West, exit 1, which is 